One integral part of schooling in Nigeria is examination. It is usually conducted to ascertain the level of competence and mastery of a student for the purpose of certification. In Nigeria, one of the different examination bodies whose responsibility to provide such testing services is the National Examinations Council, NECO. The examination body conducts the senior secondary certificate examination and the general certificate in education. NECO was established in 1999 to bridge the escalating agitations for a national examinations outreach, readily responsive to the Nigerian needs and demands, as well as cope with the annually increasing number of secondary school candidates to take senior school certificates examination, SSCE. With a mission to deliver examinations with trusted results worldwide, NECO rides on its achievement of constantly developing strategies. Years on, it is growing beyond its mandate, giving hope to Nigerians beyond. Today, behind the success story is the man at the end of affairs. Excellence in education is when we do everything we can to make them become everything they can. Today on Inspirators, my guest exemplifies this and beyond because he leaves nothing to chance when it comes to evaluation of secondary school students across the country. He is the registrar of the National Examinations Council, Professor Ibrahim Wushishi, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's great to have you on Inspirators. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, my name is Ngozi Trude. Uh, we'll dive straight into our conversation today. The name Wushishi strikes a chord. Of, of course, it's a very interesting. It's a town and that's also your surname. So, but I want to really find out what was life growing up in that community? Mushishi as a community is a very prominent community in Nigeria because of the individuals that uh, you know, grew off uh, from that very uh, community. And the likes of President Ibrahim Babangida is from that community, uh, 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 former head of state General Abdul Salami Abu Bakar, uh, former uh, Minister of Communication under President Shagari, uh, Malangarwa Ushishi and uh, former chief of army staff during uh, the administration of President Shog Shagari, uh, General Emma Ushishi, and lots more uh, uh, from that community. And uh, from the names I mentioned, you know, they are responsible uh, persons. And uh, these are things that have started from their individual uh, family. And uh, consequently, uh, from each of the family uh, in that very community, we have this attitude of respect for elders. So, and uh, uh, the entire community see a child as its own. So, irrespective of the family a child uh, comes from, once he is doing the wrong thing, any elder very close to him will discipline that particular child. So these are some of the things we have uh, encountered as we are growing up, and it's helped to shape uh, who we are to, today. Professor Dantani Ibrahim Mushishi was born in Mushishi local government area of Niger State in 1965. The prominence of his hometown readily bears a semblance to his stance on greatness. He attended Central Primary School and Government Science College for his secondary education from 1979 to 1984. 
Although from a humble background, education was a desire, and the quest for this took him to Niger State College of Education and subsequently Husman Danfodo University, where he obtained his first degree, Master's in Chemistry, and also a PhD in Science Education. An administrator, an academic, and then you just found yourself in, how did you find yourself in being a sailor? Or will I say the Nigerian Navy now? After I graduated from Niger State College of Education as back as 1987, uh, we were sent for a state service because that time the NYC scheme was cancelled for NC holders and uh, uh, national diploma holders. So the then governor of Niger State, uh, uh, I think Colonel David Mack, former uh, Senate President introduced a one-year state service. So we are the second set of that one-year state uh, service. So I was posted to Sahorami, a village after Contagora. So one of our colleagues went to Contagora and bought the Niger State newspaper called the Newsline. So there was an advert for the Nigerian Navy in that uh, uh, newspaper. So I asked him, he was giving us a story is that ah Nigerian Navy wants to recruit. He said, ah, where did you see it? A ah, news line. Why is it? He said he left it at Contagora, but he'll be traveling the following day. He'll come back with it. He came with his I saw it. I went and sought permission from the principal. He said, You can go. Wow. So I just went and attended the recruitment of uh, Nigerian Navy in uh, uh, Tradoc uh, Barak in Mina. I think that was uh, around 7th of November 1987, I mm. remember. So the f first thing that time was to look at your certificate, you look at your height, your physical fitness. They said I should just move one side. So they continued their uh, exercise. I persisted, I continued to follow, look at my papers, look at this. In short, he told me that I'm too short for them. <laughs> Long story cut <laughs> short. Yes, I'm too short for them. So when he saw that I persisted, he said, okay, uh, 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 go and tell my ogre. Wow. So I went and told his ogre, he said, ogre said, you should write my name. He said, okay. Let him give you paper. So I went back to the person again. I said, oh God, the person said I should give him paper. He said, okay, go and find paper and give him now. <laughs> so I went and got an exercise book, caught exercise book. I went and gave him. I said, sir, see the paper. I said, let, him, let Oga write something. So I went back to him again. He said, Oga, Oga say make Is you write something. something. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay. Now he wrote. Consider him. Wow. So that was wow. how I had the opportunity to sit for the examination. So after sitting for the examination, I was fortunate to pass the examination. That was how it happened and how I saw myself in the Nigerian Navy. We enrolled in the Nigerian Navy uh, 26 of December, uh, February 1988. Through life's journey and navigation, he excelled both in the classroom and on the sea. He rose through the ranks as a lecturer, serving in various committees with distinctive contributions. To his credit, as 67 publications and articles. 2021 till now, what have been the what have been the success stories behind the face of Neko? A lot of factors were behind the success story so far in Neko. And these are factors that have been my guiding principle from the youth to date. Commitment, being focused, and the zeal to serve my mission. So, in fact, when I came to Meko, I, I found that Neko as an institution that was established for more than 20 years that time, had a lot of problems. Problems similar to the problem of the entire country. 
<laughs> Numerous of challenges. So, and this is an institution that to me is like the foundation for the development of this country. There is no family in this country that will not want his child to write any of our examinations. For the purpose of individual development, family development, community development, and development of the nation at large. So, it's a place that we must make it sustainable, we must make it an institution that every Nigerian will be proud of, an institution that uh, 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 Nigerians outside Nigeria will be proud that they have that institution. Okay. And we are looking forward to establishing centers across Europe because we have Nigerians in diaspora and some of them uh, uh, also have schools that uh, attend that by Nigerians. So they will run two curriculums and uh, by, the, yes, by the time we have such institutions, uh, we draw their attention to the need for them to also look inwards onto Nigeria, use Nigerian curriculum since we are training Niger uh, uh, Nigerians because our curriculum is also tailored on the basis of our own culture. So we we'll try to make sure that uh, uh, such schools, you know, uh, serve as our centers for those Nigerians outside Nigeria to be able to write their own national examinations so that when, wherever they are, they will carry that, our national certificate, to be proud that they are Nigerians. They wrote Nigerian examination to become who they are. All right, great. All right, we'll now take a break now. The program is still Inspirators on NTA. We'll be back shortly. Thank you for staying with me on Inspirators. I, my guest is still Professor Bushishi, the Registrar of uh, National Examinations Council. Now, it's 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 an examination body and just like what we have the nigerian factor there are always clogs in the wheels in the wheel of progress now for how has it affected policy making in that establishment when you talk about challenges and uh, uh, um, generally especially with this recent deadline of uh, you know unity schools and i'm just wondering it's a whole lot you know, for the extension and all that. So, is it going to affect anything in any way? And what has been the experience? Uh, it's not affecting uh, our activities uh, negatively. Rather, we are um, we extended to enhance uh, 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 the activities of NECO and also uh, provide opportunity for uh, more access for those. Uh, students uh, out there to have the opportunity to register to uh, uh, sit for this uh, national common entrance. You know the importance of uh, national common entrance for admission into Unity schools. Uh, it's one of uh, the institution that uh, was established to unite Nigerians. Uh, one of the component of the reconciliation process after uh, after the war. And uh, when you look at enrollment into uh, this examination, the enrollment was so low to the extent that we are about reaching the period to start the examination, uh, less than 50,000 candidates uh, registered. When we imagine uh, that we have 115 unity schools, and you imagine the number of public primary schools, uh, private uh, primary schools that we have, those that are at the terminal level are supposed to enroll into this uh, uh, examination and uh, the enrollment was uh, grossly inadequate. That was what necessitated the extension. We, we have suggested a lot of ways to improve on it to government and uh, 
uh, government is also uh, responding in that in that, uh, in that regard. As far as uh, challenges that has to do with day-to-day -day running of uh, uh, the National Examinations Council uh, is, it has been a daunting challenge for you to be able to achieve you have to understand the mandate of the organization, the aim and objective of uh, establishing the organization. So with that, I found it very easy uh, uh, to just key in when I was appointed. And also my experiences in the university. In fact, from the first day I was appointed a lecturer in the university, I was given an office and shown the table and chair that is, serves as my seat as an examination officer. So I understood the nitty gritty of examinations. It is all about being focused and knowing what you want and what you want to do. Because there's and a goal. Be, yes, being fair to everybody. So, and once you are fair, you are truthful, you are honest in what you are doing, you know, some people that have this kind of illusion about you, we will always be surprised about the outcome of your activities. Professor Wushishi's exemplary professional leadership has earned him recognition and respect from diverse national and international groups, including the latest from the University of Abuja, as a recipient of the prestigious Leadership Examination Policy Development Award. ahead maybe in the next two years or three years what do you hope to achieve what name are you leaving well i used to say, i used to say that uh, neco as an institution and uh, a national institution for that matter and not an ordinary national institution an examination body you know that the entire nigerians uh, are fit so to say you know rely on this ex uh, examination body to conduct a credible, reliable, and acceptable examination for the development of citizens of Nigeria and consequently the development of the nation. So uh, uh, we have to do a lot to make it sustainable. We have to do a lot to make it acceptable within the country. We have to make it uh, uh, acceptable outside Nigeria. And we're achieving that uh, feat. Before now, Neko in the news was a negative one before I came. It is a totally different story today. The staff, they are proud that they are staff of Neko and they are very diligent in the discharge of their responsibility. I call them military without uniform. Yes, because we conduct our own examination whether during raining season, hamatan, whatever environmental condition, irrespective of the nature of the insecurity that we are facing in this country, we have never wavered in the discharge of our responsibility of conducting examination for Nigerians. Today, uh, 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 you sit in the comfort of your room, you confirm your results anywhere in the world. So we have institutions today across the world that are also reaching out to us that we should give them some document. They want to make sure that in their admission process, Nigerian candidates that hold the National Examination Council certificate and results will be used for admission. Recently, uh, uh, Birmingham City University in UK, they wrote NECO that they want to start using our results to admit Nigerians in their university. We just came back to our credit center in Jinda, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So we have stabilized and we are going to make Nigerians uh, proud. Today, if a candidate holds NECO results, Institutions have no fear to verify whether that result is authentic or not, or is valid or not. 
because we had launched the e-verify, NECO e-verify platform where individuals can confirm their results, institutions also can confirm their results. Uh, uh, we have just uh, 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 developed uh, an application uh, uh, platform uh, uh, interactive where you interface with can our inter website. Interactive yes. Platform. Yes. Okay. You interface with our own uh, platform to confirm our results. Well, obviously, on Abanjo University, both 500 token, where candidates fill in their uh, uh, forms on the internet. The moment you say certificate, NECO, you just write NECO. It will fetch the results from NECO database mm. to the university that database confirming your own result as a candidate and you candidate is not even aware that such thing is happening that's good so it, so, it eliminates every form of, of course fake yes and even sentence. institutions even institutions that are not educational institutions you give employment to staff with their certificate, if you want to verify their result and they hold NECO O-level results, you buy talking and uh, using this software, you interface with us, it just pull out the result from our database to you. CBM has also subscribed. Some institutions have also uh, 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 subscribed to that. We are also uh, uh, fortifying our ICT uh, department with modern uh, equipment for data safety so that we protect uh, uh, okay. candidates' information. Mm, yeah. Yes. The technology, of course, is the way to go. Data protection, you know, you, we can never overemphasize on that. But I, I'm really interested in your in family life. How has it contributed uh, yes. to your success? You see, uh, it all started from the home. Mm. It all started from the home. Uh, my father has uh, had only one wife. My mother, she's late. Uh, may I so rest in peace. She died in 2015, 6 uh, uh, March 2015. And uh, my father is still alive. He has no element of schooling. He, in fact, even the Quranic uh, school he has not attended, he, was, he only made effort to learn the Quran on his own. And uh, he's about uh, 105 years old, he's still there kicking, we are still together. Wow. So, and uh, the kind of life they live with my mother and uh, our siblings, my siblings, is fantastic. Because when you see us uh, uh, together, you know, gisting, you will not think they are the ones that give birth to us. But when it comes to something that has to do with discipline, once you do something that is wrong, you know that you do something wrong. You know that you do something wrong. So he loved, they loved us seriously. And uh, that is the training they gave us. Uh, today, my children, the same thing. So no matter how uh, 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 late I went, uh, back home. I will not leave in the morning until I see all of them. We are having uh, uh, fun in the family, honestly. And, the, and that's, uh, and that's the, the secret family. to any, you know, when sometimes, presumably, if you ask me, you understand, you can never um, uh, downplay the role families play yeah. in the success of any man or woman in Nigeria. But it's been a, an impressive and exciting conversation with you, Professor Ibrahim Mishishi, and uh, the Registrar National Examinations Council. And of course, we wish you all the success. Uh, it, it's a whole lot, you know, when you talk about the examination body, uh, a lot of people, men, all the youth you can imagine have to pass through this process. And the process, you have to hold it to your heart. So we wish you all the best. Thank you. And we say, uh, may God grant you all the strength that you need to sing to the to making a name in the Nigerian body. Thank you so much for being our guest on the program. Well, it's been Inspirators um, NTA, and it was in the Institute. They see the next week, and 
obviously.